I'm Daniel Widrig. I um, studied architecture in London at the Architecture Association. I worked for a few years with Saha Hadid on a few projects and since 2009 I started my practice. We do quite a variety of projects ranging from experimental furniture to sculpture. We did a few digital sets for movies, computer games. We also have architectural projects. We're currently planning a 370 meter tower in Istanbul. The most interesting projects for me are the self-initiated projects where you set yourself a goal and an agenda and you work with sometimes really small budgets but you really have the freedom to explore so that's what really interests me and that's where most of the new and fresh ideas come. What we can see here is a collection of 3D printed wearable sculptures. It's ongoing research, working with the body in a quite architectural way. So we investigated certain body parts and then we applied design processes to populate body parts with architectural microstructures. Building something, displaying it, communicating, absorbing feedback and then we might or might not apply it in a different field like in an architectural scenario. We collaborated with Iris van Herpen on a few dresses for fashion collection. The first dress was kind of a, a prototype for using 3D printing in fashion design. Whereas in the following collection we tried to push it further and reduce material thickness. We tried to work with more flexible structures. We tried to move away from a kind of like rigid structure towards a more flexible, almost second skin like design. I think it's really just pushing to the limit, just trying to see how far we can go and where are the boundaries, where are the limits. Of course, we are also interested in, in materializing things and building things, so I think we're just trying to see like how far can we go without like dissolving into the virtual. A lot of the technologies we're using are shared, like for instance, we use a lot of technology that's originally developed for other disciplines such as like special effects or movie industry, so one could say that the boundaries are blurring between disciplines.